last independent home learning for this week. Okay, so for the Maths Mind Sprint today, we're gonna to look at timesing and dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000, okay? So, remember, if we are multiplying, okay, we need to move our decimal point to the right, and if we are dividing, we need to move our decimal point to the left, okay? And however many zeros there are, is how many times we're going to move our decimal place. Okay, so a couple of examples. We're going to do 5.5 times 10. Two things to help me here. I've got one zero. And I'm going to times. Now the times is telling me I'm going to move the decimal point to the right and the zero is telling me I'm going to move it one place. So, I'm going to move it there, my new decimal point. So I've got, five, I've got 55. Remember, you don't need to put point zero at the end, okay? Uh, that, that means there's a zero in the tenths column, so we, we don't need to put it. Okay, uh, what, let's do one more example where we are, uh, let's do one from further down. So let's do one at the bottom of blue. I've got 0 0.03 and this time I'm going to times by 100. So Remember, I'm going to move my decimal place twice, and again, it's times, so it's to the right. So one, two, new decimal point. Remember, I'm not gonna put 3.0, but I'm also not gonna put 003, okay? Because that means I've got zero in the hundreds column and zero in the tens column, so I don't need to put that. So my answer is just going to be three. Okay, let's do one division. Uh, let's see what I've got over there. So let's see this one. So 5.05, and we're going to divide it by 10. Okay, so this time, division is telling me it's going to move to the left, and it's going to be one place. So. I've got my decimal point now in front of the five, so I've got 0 0.505, okay? So I need to put a placeholder before the decimal point. And there we go, okay? Good luck, last piece of maths independent learning for the week. I know you'll be amazing, keep it up. Remember, uh, once you've done your independent learning, send it to me over the 